advanced ads has made it a lot easier for us to implement Google Ad Manager tags without actually implementing the codes on the site itself. All you need to do is integrate it with advanced ads in WordPress and with a few clicks, your ads are live. Let me show you how. Once you have the plugin installed and activated, navigate to advanced ads and click on settings. Under Google Ad Manager tab, click Connect Account. Select the account to continue. Click on Allow and Allow. Next, copy the code that was generated. Back to Advanced Ads, paste the confirmation code, and click Submit. Verify that you have the correct network account selected, and click Select. If API is not enabled on your Google Ad Manager account, you're going to get this notification in here. On Google Ad Manager, all you need to do is go to Admin, Global Settings, toggle to turn on API, confirm to agree, and click Save. Once that's done, you can go ahead and reload this page. To collapse empty divs, if, for example, there's no ad to serve due to a demand issue, so the ad doesn't take up space or weird spaces on your site, you can go ahead and select Collapse if Empty and click on Save. Now let's go ahead and place our first ad. Give it a name. And here, you now have the option, Google Ad Manager for the ad type. Under Ad Parameters, you will see the list of all your ad units configured in your Google Ad Manager account. Select the ad you want to implement, specify any custom key or key values if needed, set up your display and visitor condition if you would like to restrict how this ad will be displayed to certain or group of audiences or certain pages or sections of the site. Once everything's all set, click on Publish. Once you publish the ad, select the placement where you want it to show up. For example, before content, select that, and your ad is now live. You didn't even have to generate your Google Ad Manager header or body tags anymore because advanced ads will now take care of that for you. And to confirm that we have it on the site, we're on the source code and we looked for the ad unit name and it's right there. Here's the define slot and here's the Google Tag Display code as well. Once you have all the corresponding line items and demand traffic in your Google Ad Manager account targeting that ad unit, you should see your ad serving on the site. Once you're done, go ahead and repeat the same steps for the next set of ad units you want to deploy. And don't forget for the ad type, you just select Google Ad Manager and select from the list of your ad units. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time!